Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is going to be a quick video for Ancient uh, RPG A Day 2019. And I'm going to be doing Ancient Sumerian, which is a language, those are some of the symbols for it. But uh, yeah, I like to world build. And I mean, just look at those, those characters there. For Sumerian, I've used Sumerian for various languages in my RPG settings. They tend to be like divine tongues, uh, like a common tongue even. I've always liked the idea of like a language handed down from the gods that was, uh, you know, in ancient dusty books and something that would be like a dead language, something that would never change. And, uh, I mean, these characters are gorgeous. Let me just try to scroll through some of these. Um, can you imagine coming like, come across like a tomb or a book that has these sorts of characters in them. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I think it kind of evokes uh, just a call from, from ages past. I just want to show you some of these words, too. Um, I've used Sumerian to uh, to world build. You know, I've, I've named gods. I've named countries. And what I like about Sumerian is the, the syllables tend to be short. So, uh, you know, you, you can kind of bastardize them for your own setting, uh, your own culture. I mean, there's like Allah Zul, Bara, Dingir Zul, uh, Lalartu, Lalasu, Telal, you know, and, and there's no uh, correct way to pronounce them. So, I mean, that's kind of something that's that's neat for, uh, you know, you're kind of doing your own thing. You know, you can, can, can use it and uh, put words together and however you see fit. And if you really like it, you can just keep going, you know, um, just make up your own rules for how uh, certain syllables sound and how they go together with each other. I mean, I came up with a, a creature basically called uh, Gulanamia, which basically means destroy everything in Sumerian. And for me, they were the old gods. They were the gods that used to be around, and there was like a sort of uh, divine hostile takeover. And these gods then became the demons because the, the world was remade using their energy. So basically it was ripped from them painfully. And uh, their pain is the, the foundation of the world. So kind of like that image there with like the roots. That's uh, the Galanamia's uh, flesh and blood and spirit uh, being uh, fed upon to, you know, create uh, civilization and, uh, and the world. So whatever they had made before was twisted and changed and destroyed and and, and basically used by these new gods however they saw fit. And uh, the, the, I, I really like that uh, that idea for that campaign. That was my Burning Heaven setting, or Angurtha Zangur, I think is how it was. I don't know. I should have should have looked up the name of it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Sumerian and other dead languages, definitely gameable for your settings and your worlds. Um, there's lots of lexicons out there that you can use. There's, there's one that I found that has like a search function. So you can kind of keep searching for uh, syllable or synonyms until you find the right one to describe something. I found that I had to uh, rethink the the names of the the gods or um, that kind of work around the limited lexicon that the Sumerians had to to come up with the names. But yeah, uh, find an old dead language. Uh, I recommend Sumerian. It's a lot of fun. It's uh it's interesting and it I find it it's interesting to pronounce too. Uh, and I'm not a very language savvy guy. What's interesting about Sumerian is that it doesn't seem to be really related to any other language. It was kind of like its own thing. Um, it was eventually influenced by Akkadian, which is a Semitic language, and then Akkadian sort of took over. But Sumerian was always like the book language, the uh, the record language of of that culture. And this is basically based in uh, I think southern Iraq, which was also later Babylonia. But yeah. Ancient cultures, ancient languages, and uh, I, I'll, I'll leave with one more thing. For uh, Sumerian, uh, or Sumeria, they had clay tablets, and they would use like a stylus to, to, to make these symbols. And then the clay would dry. And surprisingly, this clay has lasted for a long time, and it's legible even today. They also had uh, metal cylinders that they had reverse, I guess they had like styluses on the outside of it. And they would get some wet clay and roll this cylinder and create an entire page, like, almost instantly. Sounds like, like the earliest printing press, which I've always been impressed by. So, yeah, that's it. 
have it going out there. And I'm enjoying all the RPG a day videos. I'm trying to keep track of them all. <laughs> trying to watch them when I can. But that's it. Alright, thanks a lot. See you around.